Hello you guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I don't wanna be here. Nope, 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 nope. And I'm letting you know right now, truthfully, I don't know how many more of these I have in me for, for my soul as a makeup artist. This is going to be a full face of TikTok makeup hacks. We used to do this series maybe once a year, but they have become more frequent because you keep asking for them and I just, I. Oh, I hate them so much because like I say, every single time that I film these, these hacks are almost always a waste of time. Oh, I need to try this technique. No, no you don't. 1% of them out of the last couple of times we've done this video has worked, but the final looks are never good. It's always a waste of time and these hacks are just dumb in order to get clickbait and views on social media. And they work because y'all eat it up every single time. I, I'm a slave to the people, and I love making videos for you. So let's get into it. Before we get into today's video of TikTok makeup hacks, please give this video a thumbs up down below, okay? You use your fingers, use your thumbs. Mine are still nailless, okay? And I need you to just go down there and just click the thumbs up button, please. Okay, let's get into this makeup routine. The quicker I try these makeup hacks, the quicker I am done with this video, and the quicker, that's it. I'm, I wanna be done. <laughs> So this first video is a glowy skin natural makeup hack from the original creator, Victoria Georgie, and this is Kelly Strack reacting to this. Basically what she did was mix together the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter, I got the shade Enlighten, and then she used this Dr. Jart Green Color Correcting Cream. I am a little bit spooked because now, upon further investigation, I've realized that the beautiful Kelly used a pinky color corrector, which when mixed with green, neutralizes, therefore creating a foundation shade. Now, I have a light, goldy color because I thought I was just gonna get one that's like closest to a foundation color. <sighs> now I might end up looking green. So we're just gonna go in, a couple swatches of our Rare Beauty Highlighter. Oh gosh, okay. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Dr. Jart Green Color Corrector. And then we're just gonna go right in on the face and start blending this all together. So immediately right away, the color is not looking the most gorgeous on my skin tone. I will say it did definitely blend in, so it's not looking as green or sickly as I would have thought, but it is a little bit too pale and definitely not the right undertone. The reason why this worked for both of the girls who originally posted this video is because they are both naturally perfect and so stunning, and my skin is far from that. And I like to use a lot of full coverage products to fix it up and get it to a presentable place. I would not consider this a light coverage foundation. There is zero coverage to this whatsoever. This really is just like a, a glowy primer hack. If you are missing out on a primer and you happen to have these two very expensive products laying around, I guess you could mix them together or just buy a glowy foundation in the first place. <laughs> because it's probably gonna do a whole lot better of a job than these two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full coverage foundation routine over top of this, then I'll be back with the next hack. We have the base fully on, and honestly, it looks pretty decent with the glowing primer foundation combination, whatever the fuck underneath. Let's move on to our next hack, which is going to relate to contouring, and it is the Bella Hadid contour hack. So my... It looks gorgeous, but she's also perfect and stunning. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So she did a large contour stick right over here, all the way around to the cheeks. Then she goes down like this. Mm. Oh my fucking God, I can't do this. <laughs> you guys, these makeup hacks are just the worst. Oh my God, why did I put it in my hair like that? It, oh, it like glued it down. Oh my God, that's sick. It like glued it down to my head. Now we basically just need to blend this all in. So see how while I'm blending this contour down, it's obviously putting the shadow there because that's where we put the contour stick, but it's actually emphasizing that buckle fat, like this, this pocket of fat, the shadow right there. So instead of putting contour there, what I actually do is I like to put concealer right underneath my contour line to kind of lift this entire area of my face. I don't think this looks good. It's right here. The shadow is... That's ugly. Right here, do you see the shadows here? They're now emphasized and even more apparent than they usually are. Maybe you guys would like how this looks. I mean, the girl who did this original video, her name is Dilnar. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. And she has the face to be able to do this, whereas everyone's features are obviously different. And contouring is all about sculpting what you already have there. And sometimes if you don't have Bella Hadid. crazy sunken cheekbones, you just can't get yourself them. Unless you get surgery, which I'm not going to this time. <laughs> 
cut to me posting about buckle fat removal in six months. Our cheeks are our, 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 hello? Our cheeks are all contoured. But you may have noticed that I skipped contour on another area of my face, the nose, and that's because we have yet another nose contour hack. I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my brush like this so that I could get this perfect nose contour brush. Okay, tweezers, or these are like eyelash tweezers, which I think they work even better. But what you do is you section like where you want it. Like if you have a really small nose, make your section smaller. Or if you have a big nose and you need a bigger one, make it bigger and literally just push it all the way to the bottom and clamp it tight. And then just take like eyebrow scissors. These I think are like sewing scissors, so they're really small. And you cut just like right along the edge of these tweezers. And these tweezers hold it perfectly in place. Wow. So you just cut right along. Super easy. And this makes your nose contour super convenient. <gasps> you know what? You know what? Oh, this could be good. This could be good. I, I could, I'm prepared to eat my words that I had just said. Oh yeah. I like how this is not some stupid gimmick. She is using a brush that she already has in her collection and modifying it so that it works for a step of her routine that she says is hard, which is nose contouring. It's not putting some whack ass product all over your face. It's not claiming to do anything that it's not. She's literally just saying, if you struggle with nose contour, here's a fun little tool that you can DIY to make it easier. That's a hack that I'm in for. So let's see. We have this brush that is a similar shape to the one that she used. And I have the same type of like lash pinchers. I'm just gonna go in just like this and I'm gonna get the section that I want gone. Now I'm just gonna grab my little scissors just like she did and I'm gonna cut these hairs. Giving the brush a little haircut. So we have our brush all trimmed and shaped. Let's dip this into a contour product and see if this is gonna work. I'm gonna grab my pink honey bronzer and I'm going to just grab my, my newly chopped brush and we're just gonna go right in. As you guys can see, I have the ends nice and coated. So now I'm just gonna go like this, right down the nose. Wait, okay, that color is bad for this, hold on. The one thing about this is that I think it's really important to bring nose contour into the brows and into this area of the face so it doesn't just look like two random ski slopes on the side of your nose. And doing it, this brush does make it a little bit more challenging or difficult. Also, I noticed, and you guys can maybe see, I did not do the best job of cutting because there's clearly quite a little bit of product that has ended up in the center of my nose. The way she cut her brush actually looks like she got it from the manufacturer, whereas mine, this looks like I took a pair of children's craft scissors to this and happen to end up with this shape. Our next makeup hack that we have actually isn't until the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next steps of my routine just normally. I could definitely use some regular glam right about now. Concealer, powder, contour, blush, brows, all done and ready to go. And now we're moving on to an eyeshadow hack. Now this one, oh, I don't know about this one. Let's, let, let's just take a look. This is from Netta Selesky. This is the makeup hack that always works. First okay. you're gonna ask your model to close their eyes. When I say close their eyes, I mean really, really tight. Like First scrunch them closed, okay. concealer so is base for the powder. Then with a fluffy brush, I used cold pigment. Okay. As the model opens his eyes, you're gonna see a beautiful organic pattern. Like I always say, do less and accomplish more. So I do trust her and obviously this works, but I don't know if I love the final look. I just don't know if this is for me. I don't think that I would love rocking a look like this, but we're gonna try it out and maybe it'll maybe it'll turn out better than I'm anticipating. I'm also a little bit spooked because I have Botox. I do, and I, I don't hide that. I do get Botox and occasional fillers in my face. It's been quite a while. Oh, there's some, there's some foldage happening. We can, <laughs> we can make it work. Okay, I'm gonna grab this blue shade right here. Cola. It's brother. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna really, oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I can really scratch my face like this, okay? And we're gonna go right in, and we're just gonna start tapping this. Oh, am I, is it still giving? I'm really angry, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, I'm so angry. Okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, to be fair, I said that I didn't love the look in the beginning anyway. I'm gonna try to salvage this and turn this into something. I'm gonna grab my Create Paint in the shade Ghosted, our white paint, give it a good shake. Come on, Create Paint to save the day. <laughs> but I'm gonna grab a little bit of this, I'm gonna try to turn this into like a, a like water, I think. That's what I was envisioning in my little head, in my little noggin. So let's see if I can like make this look somewhat cute. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna use this paint to trace the lines wherever my forehead skin was like left. And I'm going for like this like water surface look. It's gonna look, look more like a lightning strike than it will water. This is so ugly. <laughs> it just looks like lightning. It doesn't look like water like I wanted it to at all. At least they made an amazing white paint because look at how pigmented that is. 
Painted.co on sale. This next makeup hack that we're gonna be trying out, I have seen everywhere on my For You page and I'm actually horrified to do this. This makeup looks already ugly, so honestly, I'm okay with ruining it. A lot of times we get through these challenges and I'm like, oh no, it's looking good, I don't wanna, no. You are ugly. Let's take a look and see. Okay, I need to go try it. So these girls are literally taking an eyeliner pen, putting it at the corner of their eye, and then just, oh, was that the wrong way? And Imagine <laughs> you do it and it goes the wrong way. It's fucking blind. <laughs> I can't see, I'm blind. So they go like this, and then when they remove the pen, it's supposed to give you like the perfect eyeliner flick. One, two, three. Um, okay, I need to, do I need to like, oh, it's going downwards. That's not a very good flick. Three, two, one. Better angle. What the fuck? How did they, they did it perfectly. Let's just do this one again. Oh, that one, okay, this top line wasn't bad. Let's see, can I turn this into an actual wing? <laughs> okay, here's my thoughts on this. This didn't work for me. This does not look very gorgeous and glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> and I do think that if this is gonna be something that you are gonna try out for yourself, it's fun, it's cute, it can help you get the right eyeliner flick, but I definitely think that this takes a lot of practice, a lot of precision, and I also think that if you're gonna try this out on yourself, you should do this at the beginning of your makeup routine. Chances are, you're gonna fuck this up, and it's gonna look really ugly, and if you already have a full face, and you do this, and you fling your head, and it gets all messed up, it's gonna be really hard to get this off. I'm probably gonna stick to my regular, regular, regular eyeliner routine, but honestly, and impressed by the creativity here. This this is a cool one. Now, last but very not least, we have a makeup hack that is definitely going to ruin this full face of makeup, but I am actually excited about this and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's, let's watch the video first though. So this is a fake freckle hack. This video is in another language, so I'm going to translate it as she goes. But basically what she is doing is taking a tiny little perfume bottle and she's grabbing a brown eyeshadow that is like a, a freckly type shade and she is scraping a tiny little bit of it off. And I'm assuming she's gonna add a little bit of setting spray and side and then she's going to spray this on her face to create the perfect faux freckle spray. Now the reason why this is interesting to me is because I tried to do this for Painted. I've been working on a freckle formula for Painted for quite a while now. I have the formula all good to go, so I'm just finalizing the packaging, but I wanted it originally to be a spray. It will not be, unfortunately, but I had this vision for a freckle spray that you could use every morning to spray little spritz of freckles and walk out the door and be done. The problem was, is I would never be able to sell it to you guys because you are not able to guarantee what the spray actually looks like. And to me, that was a good thing. You don't want the same freckles every single day. You don't want it to look perfect, but some Sometimes the freckles would come out looking amazing and like perfect and evenly dispersed. And sometimes it would literally end up with my entire face being stained brown slash orange. As of right now, a painted freckle spray is not happening, but maybe in the future, I'll be able to figure out the innovations. I'm still trying to work on it because I really believe in the idea. Let's try this out with a little faux freckle hack. I went to the store today and I got a little perfume sample. Okay, this one's from Hermes. So this shit was expensive just for you guys. They gave it to me for free, I'm kidding. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take it apart. So I have this little tiny bottle. Now for this color, I happen to have a warmy brown eyeshadow that is named Freckled. I can't tell you what brand it is or where it's from, but um, this will probably work out really gorgeous for this particular technique. We have that freckly shade right in there, as you guys can see. And now we're just gonna take our setting spray. And for this, I thought I would just use my Morphe setting spray just cause it's a continuous mist. Now I'm gonna put my little topper back on. There we go, okay. Now I'm gonna give this a good, sh oh my God, it still smells like perfume inside. DIY fake freckle spray in three, two, one. Oh, there's, wait, we have one little freckle. Three, two, one. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. Oh wow, oh wow, oh no. <laughs> And this, folks, is why a freckle spray is not possible. I really thought I was a genius when I came up with this idea. I, like, I, I, I swear, if I pulled up the text to my manager, I, I was acting like I was fucking Willy Wonka up in here. This looks like absolute garbage. The only thing that's actually saving this makeup look, making it, like, somewhat decent, is the foundation, concealer, blush, and powder, which are all steps that I did off camera because I didn't have a hack for them today. The glowing foundation hack with the highlighter and color corrector, I think, was okay. I think it's 
it's gonna work great for girlies that are naturally already perfect and don't need a full coverage look. This scrunch little eyeshadow hack, hate it. Absolutely hate it. In fact, I currently have an oncoming migraine from squeezing my eyes shut that tight. I, I hate these hacks, I hate doing these, but I do them for you guys because I know that you love them and you get a good laugh out of them. And hopefully, if anything, these can be a good educational form for you guys to learn that there's nothing wrong with the makeup hack. There's nothing wrong with finding shortcuts to make your makeup routine easier, as long as you guys are actually learning how to do it instead of just falling into gimmicks and clickbait hacks. On that note, today's video, not clickbait, and my face is definitely showing it. So if you enjoyed, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps with the channel quite a lot. And if you have not already, click that big red subscribe button and come join the family. If you want to follow me on my other social media platforms, my YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram are all just James Charles. Make sure you guys check out my shorts as well here on YouTube because I post a lot of actually good makeup hacks. And you can follow my brand Painted at painted.co or shop online at painted.co. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.